Today I'm going to talk about how to design a flange adapter. So if you're interested, stick with me and we'll jump into this together. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about flange design. Now, in prior episodes, I talked about the fact my number one biggest print of functional 3D prints are basically flanges or adapters, where I adapt from one size to another. And as you can see here, this is a perfect example. Now, I designed these up in Fusion 360, and these are for my chiller to connect to my eBay K40 laser because one of the situations I have is the chiller has basically an 11 millimeter flange that I need to connect to, but my output needs to be about six millimeters. So again, I have to step this down for the laser. Now, to do this, this needs to be a watertight fitting. So one of the first things I do is when I design a flange, I also keep in mind what nozzle size I'm going to print with. So in this case, I typically print TPU with a 0.4 nozzle. I do that for a reason because it gives me the best balance between um, detail as well as adherence. What do I mean when I talk about adherence? Well, the pieces, these need to be watertight. So I can print with a larger um, a nozzle, say like a 0.6 or 0.8, but the thing is, I'm more likely to have gaps in the larger nozzle than I am the smaller nozzle. At least that's been my experience. Uh, so I stick with the 0.4. So what I do in this case is I use three perimeters. So at 1.2 millimeters of thickness, if we divide that out, that's three passes with the nozzle. And that gives me enough to really do any type of infill. So two really kind of firm up the structure. And then the third one really seals it. The other big trick I'm going to share with you guys, when I do all of these in TPU, I use the vase functionality to do this. Because what this does is gives me one contiguous wrap of filament through this whole piece. Works great. Also the piece is I don't have a lot of retraction because it's almost a straight through feed. Now up in the corner I will be running some uh, video of these printing out. I may have already started by the time I've gotten this far into my rambling so you can kind of see it being printed. So I also when I print TPU I use a, a Z left of about 0.5 millimeters. I also use a rapid retract. Now I'm going to be doing a new video on my printer which I've designed uh, for doing TPU. I was using the Wanhao, modified Wanhao, but I've now modified an Ender 3. So watch for that in a coming video. And with that, I'm using a direct drive extruder. I'm doing basically 50 millimeters on the retract and about 40 millimeters on the refeed. And this is working out great. The other piece that I do is also, and I'll do some overlays from the Fusion 360 file. And I'll also have these out on Thingiverse too. If you have a chiller and you want to hook this up to your eBay K40 laser, go out there, grab them. Uh, is I also design up barbs as well as a cinch point down here for a zip strip. Now I will be using radiator clamps here to cinch this piece down and then basically a zip tie here. So I've got I believe uh, four barbs. Now I've rounded these with the fillet command in Fusion to give myself, you know, ample uh, tightness or snugness as this goes in. And then I've tapered this a little bit on the opening to slide into the tubes. So that should work out great. Now the other piece I do, and I'll put a little bit of an overlay from the file, is I do about a 0.4 millimeter lip on the inside here. So this will actually click as it goes on. And when I cinch this down with the radiator clamp, this, this uh, little ridge in the back is going to make a tight seal against my hose barb, which this is connecting to. So another little trick, put that in there. And I also round it with a fillet so it goes on easy, but on the inside, it's a square and it comes off hard. So again, making a very good seal. So a lot of little tricks to designing a functional flange, if you will. So if you think some of these things through in advance, you can really get a high performance product out of this. Because again, what I want this to do is last for a couple years, no leaks, no headaches, so I can go off and use my laser or whatever else I'm doing. So again, hopefully this helped uh, kind of teach you some of the basics that I use in flange design. If you have some suggestions, please hit me up in the comments below. I also love learning from you guys, and I'll share them with the rest of the community. And swag shops up there, that like button always deserves 
reserves the press subscribe over there and we'll catch you guys in the next video where we design or build something else cool cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel